One of the first steps in assembling our batteries is right here on the automated laser welder to really get the high quality bonding between all of the cells and the bus bars to help us transmit the energy. So you'll see here, this will come over, a fully automated process, all of the controls and gases and everything that is needed to make a high quality weld. We've actually grabbed this technology, this process from the medical device industry where this same process is used on heart pumps, catheters, and the like. So we've taken that technology, we brought it here into solid state batteries. So this is where we take the batteries and place them into their forever home. All of the different batteries and the different sizes uh, can, be, can be set up right here. So you can see the cells get put in, they'll get, they'll get stuffed to make sure that there's no vibration or any kind of movement once underway. Uh, we all know that folks can kind of have a tough life sometimes, so we make sure that the batteries all stay exactly where we expect them to be. <laughs> From here, it goes to wiring. This is at the beginning wiring for all of uh, the cell balancing. So we make sure our batteries are balanced right from the cell manufacturing, but then also if during the, during the discharge, during the charge, anything comes a little bit out of balance, we have live balancing that happens within our battery management system to just keep everything right within the tolerance we want it to be. As we transition down the line, we get into our final programming stage. So you can see at this point, the covers are on, they're sealed, they're IP67 rated, and then you program the batteries to have all of the parameters, the watch outs, that we wanna make sure that these batteries have a nice long life. So all of that is built right into the battery management system and programmed here. Finally, we have our quality system. Every voltage that we have in a battery, we have chargers for. So we charge, we capture the charge profile, we capture the charge curves, we then discharge it, and we capture those curves also. So you can see here, again, we're a big fan of Victron components, you'll see that everywhere. We have all of the chargers, once, once a charger comes over, it gets connected, we then capture it, and you'll be able to see it up on this screen. So for example, here's two of our batteries that were just charged, two of our trolling motor batteries. We capture that charge curve. That goes with every serial number of every battery. So we can go back at any battery we've ever made. We have steps of every one of these processes. We have documentation for every process. We're able to go back and say in five years and say this serial number, this is how it was built. Here's all the components. Here's the charge curve. Here's our discharge system over here. And we capture that also. So we're able to discharge the batteries fully and this way we'll be able to see if there's any premature failure of the batteries expected. Of course, we haven't had that yet. So this is all just to make sure that you know, when these batteries leave, that the customer has the best experience with our batteries.